Hey guys, I'm gonna try and blow through these videos. This video will be pregnancy weeks 20 to 24. I will do 25 to 29, and then 30 to 34, which will actually bring us to where I am now. I'm currently 34 weeks, uh, so I'm just gonna go through them and give you little updates on how I've been feeling. Weeks 20 to 24 were pretty uneventful, to be honest. I was starting to have a lot more energy, uh, almost feeling back normal. In fact, there were some days where I was like, am I even pregnant anymore? <laughs> um, the belly said I was, but um, it was just a lot of, a lot more comfort than I had been feeling in a while, so that was kind of nice. Except at night. I did start to get congested, like really congested, especially at night and in the morning when I woke up. Heartburn, uh, if I ate anything super spicy, anything tomato based, or anything uh, really like dairy <laughs> heavy for some reason, just for a couple of weeks, it was really bugging me, but um, that has kind of subsided in the past couple of weeks. Um, but during weeks 2024, 20, it was really prevalent. I had a lot of nipple soreness uh, during those weeks, like to the point that even like brushing it with a bra would hurt. So that was not so fun, but it's okay. <laughs> I noticed that my belly was starting to get really itchy, like all the way up from just underneath my breasts, all the way down. Um, so at this point I started, I know I should have been doing it the whole time, but I wasn't using any creams or anything. And so finally I decided to use uh, the Palmer's Cocoa Butter uh, for stretch marks and stuff like that. So that's what I've been using. Um, it has helped. I already had stretch marks beforehand, because of my weight gain, weight loss, and everything like that, so I wasn't too worried about that. Like, I'm not prancing around in bikinis or tank tops, crop tops, so I wasn't too concerned about that. It was more about my skin stretching and the feeling it was having, ha having uh, and the feeling of that, so I did start using Palmer's at this time. Uh, I also noticed that my belly is getting hairy. It's it's starting to like, it's it's starting to noticeably, like the little hairs on your belly that like is just all over your skin anyway, uh, they're much longer, which is kind of weird, but uh, I've, I've noticed that. And that started around like week 20 or so that I noticed that they, st starting, that they were starting to get a little bit longer. I have started having cravings at this point uh, for, Weeks 20 to 24, it was clementines. It had to be ice cold. Like, they had to be almost freezing. Freezing, freezing, freezing. They had to be super cold clementines. Uh, same as mango juice, really cold mango juice. Any kind of sort of tropical fruits or like, just, you know, like, fruit mixes that had tropical fruits in them. So like, mangoes and, and stuff like that just, it was really, really uh, what I was wanting uh, for some reason. Now, because I'm bigger, I knew that it would be a while before I'd be able to feel the baby. And fortunately, um, around week 22, uh, I started being able to feel quickening and the bubbles and little kicks here and there. At first, I thought it was just gas because I didn't know it's the first baby. Um, but asking like some of my friends who've had babies, my mom, people like that, even like my the nurse at my doctor's office, um, they all said, no, that, that's quickening that you're feeling, and so you, you're feeling the baby move, uh, which was really cool for me, uh, very exciting, because I didn't think I'd get to feel them just because of my size, and so the fact that I was able to was so awesome for me, so I really, really liked that. And that's kind of it for weeks 20 to 24. Uh, I was sleeping well, uh, didn't have any weight gain yet, I... Didn't have any ultrasounds or anything like that. There were no health concerns, uh, like major health concerns uh, for me or the baby during this time, which was really comforting. Yeah, cravings just started and it's a pretty, to be honest, I can't complain. It was a pretty easy five weeks. <laughs> um, and I was working a lot of hours at work too, so I'd sometimes just come home and just be kind of exhausted, but uh, because it was just before Christmas season and I work retail, so there was a lot of just long, like nine, 10 hour days. So in that fact, I was really tired, but nothing kind of odd or weird pregnancy related. So uh, that was a quick weeks 20 to 24 update. Not too eventful to be honest, um, but full of Clementines. We'll see you in the next video for weeks 25 to 29.